What's going on everybody? This is Gulsamus Guy and today we'll be doing System Task 13 with the ESL 1500 series. Let's get straight into the video. For this system test, I will be using some alarms that I have acquired back in January and a couple of trades I've done, which was with Mr. Truler and IBM 4251-1. And I think you guys are going to like what's on the system because, believe it or not, it's actually really loud. So let's just kind of get straight to what I have up on the system. For the pull station right next to the panel, I have my Firelight BG-8. I don't really use this a lot, but for this system test, I will be pulling it down. Because I'm not using NAC2, I put on the EOL resistor plate to just cover NAC2 so that way it doesn't get a NAC2 trouble. Because I, for to be honest, I don't really use NAC2 unless I'm using my Simplex Smart Sync Control Module or my Wheelock DSM Sync Module. Because I would need NAC2. Well, I don't think I need NAC2 for the, the Wheelock sync module, but I do need NAC2 for for this for the Simplex Smart Sync module. Just so I can operate the horn in a strobe uh stimutamulously with the true alerts. But because I don't have because I don't have true alerts up, it doesn't need to be up on my system. And here in the spare room I have Yep, I have my system sensor mass in here. So, this isn't your regular system sensor mass. As you can tell, there is an SCI FSL valve strobe right on the system sensor MA. The MA I've had for, this is actually, the MA is my very first fire alarm. And it did come out from that abandoned building video everyone's familiar with. And the original strobe was dead, so I put on the, feder, I put on the SCI strobe as kind of like a replacement. In here in my room, I have a Simplex 425120, and above it is an alarm I've been wanting for a very long time, and I'm glad I finally have one in my collection. It is a Simplex 4051 vibrating horn. Well, because I actually tested the system, and this horn actually vibrates the walls in my room. It's freaking crazy loud. And that's why I said this is probably going to be the loudest system test, and also the amperage is 0.2, so therefore this is a very loud horn and it would be a bad idea to put it in there because the alarm i have in there is actually just as loud and or at least in my opinion but the 4051 still takes the cake of the loudest fire alarm in my collection louder than the advance and the exceeder so um yeah right next to the 4051 i have another valve strobe however it is by federal signal and i believe federal signal were the was the first company that actually made them and FCI just rebranded these. I removed the fire sticker because it was getting kind of it's kind of getting a little bit worn out and I just got decided to, rem uh, to remove it. And there's still a little bit of residue but I will be cleaning it up sometime but I'm not sure when but yeah it's just a blank strobe now. Oh and I had this one for quite a while. I had it since um October 2018. ESL detector and we still have the mirror tone pull, the 73C03. So in here I swapped out the other Simplex 4251-20 and put up my Firelight BG12. This is the first generation and it has the hex screw. And also it's the first generation because it doesn't have the Honeywell logo on it. And the alarm above it, I have nothing. No, there's something. It's actually up here. This is my Wheelock 7002-24. This thing is probably my second loudest fire alarm in my collection. Uh, aside from the Simplex 4051. And it looks really good on the ceiling since it is practically a ceiling mount device. But of course I can stall it on the wall if I wanted to. But I decided to just put it up on the ceiling. Since I believe it looks cooler. And there's the other ESL smoke sector. And here in the laundry room I have a horn strobe. And this is another ceiling mount horn device I have, or ceiling mount horn strobe I have. This is a EST-792-7A-006 pre-integrity horn strobe, and it, it does have the ceiling mount fire lettering on it, and there's the heat, heat sector. Um, my previous EST integrity in my collection does not, melt, uh, does not work anymore, but I'm glad I was able to get another one in a trade. And this is a lot rarer than the wall mount version, to be honest. And to be honest, I'm still thankful that I got one of these. In here, I ha I still have the Edwards 278 pole station. And it does not have the glass rods since I broke in the last system test. So that is everything on the system. Uh, I will be putting the system on walk test just like I did the last system test. 
And as I already mentioned earlier, this system is really loud, so when we go in full alarm, it's not going to be blasting for a long time, as I do with the other system tests. But um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull the Firelight PG-8. If you suffer from epilepsy, do not watch, and also do not pull any fire alarms in real buildings unless it's, it's an actual emergency. So, And what's cool about this Firelight PG-8 is that it can take an older Firelight key or a newer Firelight key. So it's going to pull it. ahead and pull the 405120 and the housing is new by the way and same with the, well the key locks not new but the housing is new i got it along with the horns in the trades um here's my b key i'm just gonna pull it straight down here we go loud There we go. Anyway, I got my screwdriver for the mirror tone pull, so we're just going to go ahead and pull it. Next is the Firelight PG-12, and I have my hex, hex wrench. So I'm going to unlock pull station and pull it straight down. So uh, here we go. Shoot. It does that when the pulse station is not resetted by the time the alarm silences. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and pull the C78. It's almost just as hard for resetting to reset it as it is with the mirror tone pole. But uh, I'm actually just going to open it and you know, just flip it. Through. All right, I just did that for fun. So let's go back to the panel. All right, so let's go ahead and put the system back to normal. So now the system back to normal. <laughs> so we're now gonna activate the real alarm and I will be pulling the 40 to 50 120 just so that way I can feel the vibration on the walls from this 4051. So uh here like I said, I'm not gonna set this off for a long, so here we go. Set the system. Well, that'll be it for system test 13. I hope you guys enjoyed it because it was a really loud system test. And as well, it did include some alarms that are hard to find nowadays. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.